All right, I've got the um, county line tractor supply carry-all. And I put the Pat's quick hitch, um, you know, pin washers on there and some uh, hitch pins. And I had to buy a separate category one top link pin so that did not come with the carry-all same with those two the pin came but the the uh, this washer was a Pat's quick hitch and this is did not come with it so yeah, that's you'll have to pick up it was $169.99 and then I have other accessories to make my super versatile carry-all. So the plans here are based on DIY my way and I watched his video and put down you know some critical measurements. Mine's going to be shorter because I want to put the carry-all into the new shed and the shed door is 60 inches which is you know just if I was to make it to DIY standards, his is 60 inches or more, um, I, it wouldn't fit. So I've got to account for, you know, about a, an inch clearance on either side. So I'll probably make mine at most 58 inches wide. So I've got the brackets for two by fours. I've got the side galvanized hinges. These are the side latches, gate latches. And then a trailer hitch I got at uh, Harbor Freight for pretty cheap. And a piece of stock, two inch by three eighths inch metal. And uh, that'll be to make, to mount this hitch to. And just, I'll put a link to his video and you can see exactly how it's done. I'm going to pretty much follow that same process. Alright. Why, why do something that, you know, why redesign something that's already designed that is incredibly versatile and will meet all my needs. So stay tuned. Okay YouTube, I'm get, getting there. I'm trying to follow the directions for DIY my way and it called for on the bottom four two by sixes which you see there and a two by ten the problem was I think this is a different dimension even though it's the same brand of carry-all the uh, I had to put instead of a two by ten right here I'm having to put a two by twelve and that will provide an inch of overhang over this lower arm over the lower arms right now I'm drilling holes for the um, steel bar I'm using my um, both my Milwaukee drill bits which are unbelievably fantastic but I'm using the um, impact drill which seems to work best so let me just show you underneath. You can see this is this is where the hitch the hitch is going to attach. You can see I've drilled the holes and I've kind of just lined up the steel. Uh, first of all, let me let me get rid of these metal shavings first, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, I went ahead and got those metal shavings cleaned up. Oops, some underneath. Oopsie. Okay, so ah, try to make this viewable. That's the piece of bar that's going to make the hitch a little stronger. As you can see I drilled holes so now they, they match up perfectly and th those two holes are for the hitch itself. So uh, what I want to do is what DIY my way said was to go ahead and route so that I can get that steel bar flush with the wood. So I'm going to go ahead and do that next.
All right, the steel bar, it fits nicely into the routed channel and all the holes line up. So I think we're good to go for that part. And I think I need another adjustment. I probably need to have a 2x12, an additional 2x12 here. Uh, it just, you can see it, there's a, about 2 inches there. So I'll take and replace probably one of those 2x10s with a 2x12 just so I can get everything.
Okay, my dimensions are different. Again, I have the county line carryall, and it's the $169 one out there. I had to do a 2x10 on the bot. This is the upright back. I had to do a 2x10, 2x6, 2x6, 2x12 in order for it to sit mostly flush. Okay, so my, my dimensions are different. And then on the bottom, I had a 2x6, 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 and a 2x12. And that lets it hang over about an inch. Alright, so again, it's right now it's 53 inches wide, but I'm going to be putting on sides and so forth. So it looks like it's going to meet my needs. It looks good. Big enough for me, I think. Stay tuned. Three inch deck screws. Okay, now I'm do I have it flipped on its back and the bottom is up in the air. I'm putting the skids on on the sides. Now that I've put the 2x4s for the bracing, I'm putting the skids on the side which basically, you know, are even with the concrete ground and and the bottom. So, I'll just put two deck screws all the way down uh, on each side. Just of note, um, most of all of this wood is uh, salvaged, and for example, this this is salvaged, but it's you know ground contact. And I, I did buy today some two by four ground contact because I didn't have any. I didn't have couldn't identify any ground contact in my salvaged lumber. So just to be safe, I went ahead and got it uh, for these pieces uh, for bracing. But everything else is salvaged lumber, and some of it's warped. But I'm finding that, you know, with the lag screws and the deck screws, everything's straightening out pretty well. And anyway, it's a carry-all for my tractor, so it's not supposed to be pretty. So, Okay, now I'm drilling some holes for the, uh, for the dolly retainer uh, underneath. Okay, just put in the spacer. Basically the dolly is going to fit right in here. Like that. I've drilled the holes. I just need now need to put the deck screws in. One and a half inch deck screws. Now I'll put on the receiver hitch so that I can uh, measure the dolly.
hey, I attached this crossbar and I'm just stacking pieces of wood to shim it up to where we just have a small gap here, maybe half inch behind the receiver hitch. So it's worked out good. Now I'm going to put the casters on. I'm using that dowel as a spacer. Okay, YouTube, I think I'm about 95% done. Got the dolly built. Got the sides hooked up. Got the side latches on both sides hooked up. Um, a lot of stuff on the back side. Got uh, tool holders and a 2x4 um, brackets. That's to uh, basically have a high 2x4 with some hooks on it so I can carry stuff out there like the weed eater. And basically three PVC pipes for shovels and so forth. I've also got a large uh, scabbard for my uh, steel 461 with a 32 inch bar. So that's a pretty long scabbard. And then my little farm boss will fit in there as well. That's, I think, 18 inches. So, long day putting this together. So, almost done. And um, I'll, I'll load it up and then take it out on the tractor to probably tomorrow or in a couple days and finish out the video. Okay, YouTube, I think I'm officially done. 
there's only one thing left to do and that's the 2x4 uprights. They're 66 inches each with a hook on them so I can put the weed whacker on it. Uh, but I went ahead and put on the gates with the bed hooks. I got a 2x8 uh, and a 2x6 on the bottom. That's for the front gate. I got the I moved the gate latches from there because it wasn't closing properly, so I moved them over here. So now it closes great. A couple of mistakes I've done. Uh, again, this is all um, recycled wood, so it's not the prettiest thing. But I'll tell you what, it's going to be the most utilitarian thing, and I'll show. I'll basically load it up and show you how it looks. Um, DIY my way put on some um, cross braces right here. Uh, I don't know if I need that because mine's a little shorter. Uh, if I need it then I'll probably put them on later. so it's not exactly quick attach. Well, um, I think this project is about 95% finished. Uh, there's still some tweaks I need to do. Uh, for instance, I tried to back up and, and try to store it in the shed, but it's the ground is too low. So I need to get kind of a earthen ramp so that the tractor gets a little higher so that I can clear the entryway the, of this door here. So I'll just go over this real quick. This is based on DIY My Way, uh, super versatile carry-all. Um, so basically I have the same removable gate right here that you can turn into a workbench like that. Um, you know, if, you, if I need to sharpen the chainsaw, and I showed how I can put that long chainsaw bar 32 inch in there, that scabbard. I have the uh, PVC pipes in the back where I can put tools. I have brackets where I can put tools. I'll show you those right now. See in the back where I can get the post hole digger in there. I can get a good shovel and the axe and uh, pick and another rake so and the scabbard for the chainsaw goes all the way down to here it's it's very very large I can fit any size chainsaw bar that I have currently and again the latches to secure the sides are there 
and the sides can be collapsed. And of course the dolly is on here and what I think I'll do is I'll, I'll keep this in the barn or I'm sorry in my garage for now until I can get this uh, more of a ramp built right here in front of the shed but yeah, I think it turned out really well I used you can tell I used old uh, repurposed wood most of it is pressure treated and I have galvanized hardware so I'm real pleased I'm, I'm real happy with how it turned out I've got a hitch here so it's it's nice and bolted in well so yep I think that does it for this video. Thanks for watching.